What are we going to do in today's show? Well, we've got a lot of great stuff. It's We've got part two of our how to use Zoom for work and business stuff. So let's jump right in. I've got our uh, community down here in our Facebook group. We're streaming and I see their comments. We've been playing with the new Facebook producer that's live. Um, so I'm glad that you're with me this morning. And uh, if you want to see the first 50 minutes of the show, what I'm calling my bonus material, come to our Facebook group, Ask a Web Geek, and you'll be able to find that 50-minute pre-show, which did not make it into the final show, but you can watch me do all kinds of stuff, including look at some live spiders that live here in the web cave. So if that's interesting to you, come to our Facebook group, Ask a Web Geek, and you can watch that bonus material. But meanwhile, you have missed nothing the show starts right now. Featured topic of the week. It's time to go online. Last week, I presented to you my, my blog article that I'd written about using Zoom as a platform to stay connected with your friends, your family, and continue your business activities. You can meet with groups. You can meet one-on-one. -on -one. You can still have your one-to-one -one meetings, your one-to-one -one coaching, your one-to-one -one consulting, your calls. You can do it online. You can do it as a group. You can do it one-to-one. -one. It's an amazing platform. Wrote a blog article about how to get started with that. And then on our last week's show, we, we talked about the basics of how to get that started. Well, today I want to go a little deeper for you into the jungle and show you what's next. So the very first thing we talked about was how to sign up for your own free account and how to join someone else's meeting. So all you have to do is go to zoom.us. Note that it's not .com, it's zoom.us, like United States, zoom.us. Go there, you can sign up for your own free account, uh, and you can even join a meeting without having your own free account. Uh, so either is possible. Someone else is hosting the meeting, you jump right in it. You certainly can. You don't have to sign up for anything, but you do have to download the little installer. And I talked about that last week. So review last week's show, episode 27, where I told you about how to get started with Zoom. Today, we're going to go a little deeper. We're going to talk about two extra pieces. We're going to talk about setting up your profile and a couple things in there that are a little interesting. And we're going to talk about how to schedule a meeting. Now you're going to host the meeting on your side. Last week, you signed up and you joined someone else's meeting. This week, we're going to set up your profile so you can host a meeting. Are you ready to do that? Let's take a field trip and we're going to dive right into the website. So let me pull it up for you over here. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -da -ba. We've got the Ask a Web Geek website right over here, askawebgeek.com. Here's the buttons I was telling you about. Click this green button right here to join our Facebook group. Click this blue button to subscribe on YouTube. Please, please subscribe on YouTube. Please, pretty please. Please subscribe on YouTube. We're looking for our first 100 subscribers. Let's see how many we have. At the risk of breaking the internet. Let's jump in right now. Last time it said 87. Drum roll, please. And we still have 87. Would you be my number 88 subscriber? If you're on with me right now live and you're down here in the comments section, you could be our 88th subscriber. That's like the luckiest number possible uh, of, of subscriber to be. I want you to be our number 88 subscriber. Subscribe now. We'll check on that at the end of the show. If I remember, remind me to check on that at the end of the show. Askawebgeek.com, blue button, subscribe on YouTube. Okay, we want you to join our Facebook group too. That would be awesome. That's the green button. Do both of those things. All right, let's jump into Zoom. Oh, I wanted to put it on the home screen for you, and I didn't. Zoom.us, this is how it looks when you come to the home screen. There's a big blue button over here in the corner if you've never signed up before. I am signed up, and therefore it looks like this. So I can click my account right up here, my account. So there's a couple things I wanna show you inside my account. First of all, I wanna show you, the, uh, you can add your picture. You can add your picture and you customize your name. And this is important because, because you don't have to be on video when you're having a Zoom call with someone. You can have your video off. And if you do have your video off, it's gonna show your photo. It's gonna show whatever picture you put right here. Now, I would recommend that you make that your actual photo so they can be seen. Even if they can't see your live face, they can still see 
a face and it helps them make that connection with you. But there's no rules that it has to be your face. You could use a picture of something else. You could use an animal. You could use a, a bear with his stuff and coming out. You could use you could use Gary the gorilla as your uh, as your photo. Whatever you choose, put a photo in here so that it shows something other than just your name when you're on that call. That's my first tip for you. You can do this in your free account too. So upload your photo. So we've got those pieces. Then I want to show you about this piece right here called your personal meeting ID. Now this is really cool because what it allows you to do. Let me say this a different way. When you schedule a meeting, when you when you create a Zoom room, if you will, for someone to meet with you, you can choose for the Zoom software to create a new unique meeting ID every time you generate a new room. That might be helpful for security or for a particular call or a particular group. You may want to have a particular meeting ID for them and them only. However, it also allows you to have a personal meeting ID that remains the same and you can customize this. So what I did is I made the I made the personal meeting ID my phone number. That way it was really easy for me to remember and I could just rattle it off the top of my head when I told someone 619-512-3210. That's my meeting ID now, right? You can call or text me 619-512-3210 or you can connect with me on Zoom, zoom.us slash join and my meeting ID is 619-512-3210. See how easy that rolled off my tongue? That could be you too with your meeting ID that's customized to your number. This is the place you do it. It's in your settings and it's in your profile. Add your picture, step one. Step two, customize your personal meeting ID. Then you have the choice. This next check box says use this ID for instant meetings. So when I create an instant meeting in Zoom, I open up Zoom and I hit go. Nine times out of 10, or depending on how I have the setting set, it's just going to use that my personal meeting ID. It's the easiest, it's the fastest, it's great. I do that a lot. It's easy to remember. I can even tell someone to jump into that room before I get there. So I could be walking to my computer on the phone with you and telling you, yeah, go ahead and go to zoom.us, click on join a meeting, go ahead and put in my username or my, my meeting ID at 619-512-3210. Yes, it is my phone number. Ha ha ha. Isn't that funny? And while they're doing that, I could be getting on my computer. I could be pulling up Zoom. They could be logging in and then boom, they could even join the room ahead of me. And then I join and now we're together. So it makes it really easy to get a meeting going even instantly and allow someone to start getting into that before you even have it set up. Great way to do it. Jim Timlin is number 88. All right. Jim, you win the lucky prize. Jim, do you have a copy of my book? If you don't have a copy of my book, you just won a copy of my book, uh, Five Golden Keys to Sharpen Your Website. Let me know about that, Jim, because you are our lucky number, number 88. I'm writing it down right now. Jim Timlin. Congratulations, sir. Let me know if you have a copy of my book, and if you don't, I'll get you one. Thanks so much for being that N number 88 subscriber. That's awesome. So that's the first thing that I'm going to recommend that you do. Come into your profile, set your picture, set your personal meeting ID. And um, there's a couple other things in here. It's telling me the capacity for my meeting. So I've got 100 participants in the, in the um, account that I have. It's also telling me that I am a licensed user. Should we see what that means? Licensed users can host meetings with unlimited mi minutes for up to 100 participants. So that's something for you to be aware of. If you have the free account, it limits two things. Number one, how you're subscribed. Um, oh, rewind. It limits two things. How many people can join the meeting at the same time and or how much time you can have in that meeting. And I believe what I'm about to say is true. If it is only one person and one person, there's not a time limit. Is that true? It might be true. It might be. Um, uh, Jim, that's awesome. Would you email me your uh, your address? I think I already have your address. Stay tuned. I'm sending you a copy of my book, man. Thanks so much for subscribing. I really appreciate that. I do have your address. Uh, and so uh, what was I saying? So you can have, I think, an unlimited amount of time for... Uh, Linda's fighting. She thought she was number 88. Linda, you already have a copy of my book, so we'll give it to Tim. Is that okay with you? She's going to say yes. 
So if you have the free account, I think you can have an unlimited amount of time for one person only. However, if you are two, three people, you might be limited to having only two to three people on the call with you, and then it also limits the time. Then you can only have a 40-minute meeting. So those are some of the restrictions. It's either one person for a bigger period of time, or it's a couple people, but for a smaller period of time. And you can't record to the cloud. I think you, you can still record locally to your own computer on that free account. So with all that being said, I love this first, I'm on the first paid level. It's that pro level and I love it. It allows me up to up to a hundred participants with no time limit at all. And I can record directly to the, to the cloud. That is to say, right to Zoom's own system. They keep the recording. So I love it. I highly recommend it. If I had an affiliate link for Zoom, I'd give it to you, but I don't. So just go sign up for free, zoom.us. It's a great thing. Okay, so that's the profile. Add your picture, customize your personal meeting ID, and understand what that means. It allows you to create an instant meeting uh, with a number that you can easily remember. Do you need more help? Uh, setting up something like this for your own group. Uh, I'm available for private coaching. How can you use this technology for your own benefit, for your business or your personal life? You could continue your own coaching, your own teaching, a mom's group, a church group, a business group, or another meeting online. Use the information I presented so far, jump in and do it. And if you have any extra questions, please reach out to me. I'm here to help you. We can work you know, for an hour, for 15 minutes, whatever you need to get the problem solved. You can reach me at 619-512-3210, 619-512-3210. If you want to have a Zoom call, we sure can. We'll probably be using my personal meeting ID, 619-512-3210. Call, text, or Zoom me at that number. You can also email cj at askawebgeek.com, cj at askawebgeek.com. I would love to help you integrate one of these solutions into your business, your personal, your church group, and make this a solution that works for you. Super important right now that we all stay connected, and I love this tool for doing that. Oh, look, my slides just fell right off the screen. Well, that's okay. We don't need them anymore. Close it. Close all those slides. We don't need any of that. Ooh, should we see how it went? Let's do it. Ba -da 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 -da. We're going to go back here to Ask a Web Geek. We're going to click on the blue button and we're going to see what happened. We had 87 at the beginning of today's call. And now we have 89. All right. Thank you to the two of you who subscribed during that time. I thought three of you said that you subscribed. So that number should be 90. That math doesn't make any sense at all. Maybe one of you subscribed or maybe you started clicking it like crazy and you accidentally unsubscribed. So check again. <laughs> Make sure you're still subscribed to Ask a Web Geek. And I'm so glad that you've been with us this morning. Please, please subscribe on YouTube. Please, pretty please. The Internet's a Jungle. Bye-bye for now.